to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. We're going to hear from two candidates this morning looking to fill a Tennessee House seat that has been held for 26 years by Representative Bill Dunn. He is leaving that seat and two candidates with experience in the political arena are looking to replace him. We welcome Republican Michelle Carringer and Democrat Elizabeth Rowland. Our panel there, Don Bosch, who's a Democrat, runs his own law firm, and Susan Richardson-Williams, who runs her own par PR firm, happens to be a Republican there with us as well. And Elizabeth, let's start with you on the Democrat side. Why are you running for this seat? I have public service in my opinion. I grew up uh, the daughter of a army veteran and a nurse, and they both became lawyers and represented workers um, in the interests of workers. My dad became a state representative in the 70s as well. So I grew up talking politics around the dinner table with my family, and they taught me that politics and leadership are about listening and working with others to identify problems, come up with solutions, and then work together to get things done and make our community a better place. To me, that's what leadership should be about. And during this time of economic uncertainty and pandemic and social unrest, we really need leaders that can unite us and bring us together to get through this time. Uh, I plan to focus on the issues that most Tennesseans care about Issues like increasing access to affordable health care, creating good paying 21st century jobs, and supporting our public schools. Uh, those are the things that I think um, we can make progress on. They can be bipartisan issues. Uh, I want to uh, move forward in a collaborative way to get things done, not focus on issues that divide us. And that's why I'm running. Ms. Carringer, to you, why are you running for this seat? John, I am running because I have a passion to serve people. My entire life, that's what I focused on because uh, I thank God every day for the two parents that I had, a mom and dad that taught us to always give back to those. And public service is serving the people. And I love Knox County and I love Tennessee and I think District 16 is the best place to live and raise a family. And so John, I am just working to make sure that the Tennessee economy comes out stronger than ever before COVID and also make sure that we are supporting our law enforcer officers from across the state to local and our first responders. We have got to make sure that law and order has got to be upheld in our country and our state. That is one of government's main responsibilities is to make sure that everyone feels safe. And uh, that's what I wanna do is to make sure that our citizens feel safe and that our economy is great and that I am there to serve people. Susan, you take yeah. the floor for our candidates running for District 16. Again, this is uh, just for geographic purposes. This is really Northeast Knox County. We're talking about Halls and Powell, Susan. Yeah, the, the main issue facing Tennesseans right now is clearly the COVID. 19 and the pandemic and what um, what kind of a grade would you give governor lee um, on his leadership on the pandemic and is there something you would consider if you were in the general assembly is there something you might have uh, put forth that would make it different from what governor lee has done uh, elizabeth i'll start with you thank you i i agree that uh, the pandemic getting through this making sure that all of our residents of the state are healthy and um, can, can recover and get from COVID is a top priority. You know, my leadership style um, is very collaborative. I like uh, working with others to get things done. And honestly, um, putting a score on the governor's leadership isn't really my style. I think that I'd rather focus on the issues at hand. And um, the issues at hand are that we still haven't uh, passed Medicaid expansion yet. There's a lot of our essential workers that don't have health care coverage e during this time, even while we're relying on them to get through this crisis. And um, we need to expand Medicaid as soon as possible. Uh, the, the state legislature and the governor has failed to do that so far. 
So that would be a top priority for me. Um, and it, there's also other things I think we could do uh, to get through this crisis safely. For example, putting a nurse in every public school. Um, we have new COVID tests coming in from the federal government and Governor Lee wanted to have those distributed to the schools for the students and, and staff. And I think it's great to have new COVID tests, but uh, we don't have a nurse in every public school to administer those. Um, a, a report showed that only 60% of Tennessee public schools have a full-time nurse. During a pandemic, that is a big problem. So uh, those are two of the main things that I think the, the state needs to work on ASAP. Michelle, okay. your answer to Susan's question. Yes, that's what I was going to say. So Susan, I thought your question was, was to give uh, Governor Lee a grade on how we thought that he had been handling the pandemic. I, my heart goes out to Governor Lee and to everyone that has been involved. And as you know, I've served on county commission during the time when this all started. Uh, this is something that no one could have ever predicted or that has ever gone through. And since my family is in the medical field, this has, this has knocked everyone sideways. And so to give Governor Lee a grade, I, you know, I think that Governor Lee has done everything that he possibly thought of that he could do that was right uh, for the citizens and what the legal uh, advice and experience and professional people have given him. And, and that's, you know, that's all I can say is this has been something that um, there's been certain drugs that have helped some people. There have been drug, those same drugs that didn't help people. So I think this is something that um, we're still going through and we're, and we're going to be going through this for a long time. And I think the only thing that's, that's going to stop this is when we get a vaccine. And so I, you know, I just applaud everybody. I know it has not made everybody happy, uh, but there's been so many factors and so many uh, people. This is not the flu. It is completely different from the flu. So I, I you know, it's hard for me to criticize anybody because this is something that we've never gone through and we're all learning from it. So I continue to uh, want to work and do what's best for the state of Tennessee and and then the U.S. to make sure we get this vaccine as soon as possible. We're going to take shall. a quick break on Inside Tennessee, and we'll be back with uh, more of our conversation. Don Bosch, you can lead us off. Stick with this topic and also talk about education and abortion when we come back. <laughs> 